Joining me now is nasty Nestor Cortez, the left-hander, of course, for the New York Yankees. And Nestor, it's great to see you. You look good. You look refreshed. You looked rested. Tell me a bit about what made you decide to pitch for Team USA. Um, at first, I didn't know. At first, I didn't know if I was uh, able to qualify. I know as a U.S. citizen. Um, so I asked around the league. I, I, you know, told my agency, um, and they said, "Yeah, I was, I was qualified. Uh, it's just a matter of they, you know, if they wanted you." Um, and I want to say in early, early October, um, I got a, I got a call from Tony Riggins, and uh, you know, basically extended out an invitation and said, "Hey, is it something you're interested in?" And I told them, "Of course, I was. Uh, it's always been a dream of me, of mine to." to play for the uh, for the baseball classic um, and of course I said yes any uh, trepidation or extra pressure on you since right now you're the only lefty uh, no not really uh, just excited honestly I know I've seen the the roster the for the position players for the most part um, and I'm excited to, to play with you know with all those superstars um, obviously I know I know there's a couple pitchers that also got added and and you know we're I'm ready to go. Yeah, Adam Wainwright also just added to the Team USA roster. Who are you looking forward to the most, Nestor, to kind of just pick their brains, learn from, just hang out with? I think Adam Wainwright is right there on the top of my list. Obviously, he's done it for a long time. Uh, he's been successful for so many years. And uh, for him to keep you know, competing and doing what he's doing, uh, it's, it's impressive. So I, I, I definitely got to take some pointers from him. No question about it. Okay, tell me a little bit how you're doing with the uh, rehab process, with the groin injury. Where are you at in that, and when can you start picking up a baseball and getting back to it? Yeah, I've done about three weeks of rehab already, uh, three to four weeks. Um, right now I'm in the stage of uh, trying to work out and see how it feels working out. Um, and then next week I want to start I want to start throwing, um, you know, moving my arm and, and, and making sure everything is up to date. Of course, you guys wanted to go a lot deeper into the postseason, Nestor, than you did. You came into a, a tough Guardians team. You won game five against the Guardians, and then, and then you moved on in the postseason. But how much value do you take and how well you pitched down the stretch? You were 3-0 and with a 1-3-5 earned run average in your last six starts. How much motivation does that give you and momentum going into the new season? Yeah, it's big for me. Uh, I think the biggest hurdle for me this year was uh, throwing as many innings as I did. Um, obviously, I, 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 I hope to pitch more uh, next year. Um, but the fact that, you know, I finished strong, it's, it's definitely something I can look up to for next year. What do you want to change, if anything, about your repertoire, about the way you go about your business, about, you know, your, your warm-ups, you know, in between pitches, bullpen sessions, anything? Um, I think my routine was pretty solid this year. Uh, you know, I got a lot of help from the from the from the guys in the starting rotation. You know, Tyone, um, Garrett, Sevy. They all they all gave me some pointers on how to stay healthy and how to and how to maneuver myself throughout the season. Uh, you know, manage my workload on and on and off. You know, in the weight room and stuff like that. So, um, I think I want to incorporate more of that changeup that I that I've been messing around with uh, that I I messed around with in in 2022. Um, I think it's gonna. It, it could be a weapon for me. I just, you know, have have to have some trust in it and uh, believe that I can throw it. How do you gain that trust? Do you use it in game more and more to get there, or, or how do you build that trust with the changeup? Yeah, I think towards the end of the season, I was throwing it uh, more than I did to start the season, um, and I was I was starting to get that confidence. Um, and I think it's just a matter of, of 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 like you said, just throwing it in, in the game, um, getting a lot of reps in. Uh, creating that muscle memory, creating that same arm path that I that I do to to throw out my other pitches. So I think it's 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 a matter of reps, and you know when I get to spring training and and when I throw my bullpens here in the off season, um, I think it's something that um, I can work on and 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 keep building off it. Yeah, muscle memory, repetitive delivery. Are we going to see the the same crazy windups more and more? Yes, yes, you will. Um, I'm hoping to <laughs> keep, keep that in my arsenal, keep that, you know, in my back pocket. So whenever I need to bring it out, it's, it's there. No question about it. You had mentioned that you talked to Jamison Tyone, that Seve helped you, that Garrett Cole helped you a lot. Now, Jamison Tyone, a free agent, we're not sure where he's going to end up. What gives you the confidence, Nestor, going into the 2023 season that this particular rotation of Cole, Cortez, Severino, Montas, Herman, and Schmidt can get it done? 
Yeah, it's it's a power it's a powerful rotation. I mean, you go down the list. You know, Garrett. Obviously, we all know who Garrett is. Uh, you know, Montas has been great for Oakland, and he came over. You know, he had that injury, but we know we have trust in him that he can be that guy. Uh, Luis Severino is a superstar. Um, I'm glad he's back with us. Uh, T picked him up, and and for Herman, I mean, everybody forgets what he did in 19. You know, he he won a lot of games for us. He pitched he, uh, great. He had a great season that year. Uh, he even came back and, and and showed us that that you know that he can do it again. So, um, you know, to have that rotation on paper right now, it's, is great. And hopefully we can, we can dominate again uh, the next year. You have overcome so much adversity and I hope that you've taken the time to look back and see what you've accomplished in this past year. You went from not even knowing if you were going to be on the opening day roster to being an all-star to pitching really well in the postseason, And now you're about to pitch for team USA. Have you taken a moment to reflect on how far you've come? Every day, um, like you said, I've I've come so far from you know my first time in the big leagues, which was 18, to you know uh, last year, even last year in 21, where I've, I showed something, uh, you know, that I can prove and 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 I can and I can pitch in the big leagues, and then this year just topped it off for me. So hopefully, I can continue to do that. Um, I think I I, I want to stay ready, you know, for, for every opportunity that I get. Um, I don't want to take anything for granted. I know that you know this. This uh, success that I had this year felt pretty good, and I, I always, you know, wish to feel that way uh, going forward. What's the biggest self-reflection you had? What did you learn the most about yourself in that time? Um, I mean, I learned I learned that I, I it's it's possible, you know. I learned that um, you know, working hard and 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 trusting yourself, um, and just you know, you got to figure out a way to to, to make it happen. Um, and for me, that, that, was, that was my biggest hurdle, believing in myself and having that confidence out on the field. So, I mean, this year just helped me get through that, helped me, you know, get through that hurdle, and, and hopefully I can continue to do that. Yeah, it's been a blast to watch you pitch. I have two more questions for you, Nestor, before I let you go. Number one, are you bringing Café Cubano to Team USA? you got to bring that Cuban flair. So I would imagine you're going to have cortaditos and, and, you know, the cafecito there for Team USA to let them know what's up. I will. We shipped we shipped the machine uh, down to Tampa for spring training. So I'll be I'll be borrowing it from the Yankee clubhouse uh, for a few weeks uh, to keep serving that cafecito. That's awesome. And I love that it's Cafe Bustelo, too. And final question for you. How many times have you called Aaron Judge and said, hey, we want you back on this team. Don't entertain other teams. We don't need to talk to the other 29. What's going on? Come back to right field. Yeah, uh, um, I mean, we we've spoken a few times, but I've never touched the topic on him. It's it's at the end of the day, it's it's his decision. I we would obviously uh, want him to be back and want him to be in pinstripes again. Um, but you know, he deserves the best. He he's he's gone out. He's shown what he can do. Um, and I mean, as a friend, I'm very happy for what he's done and the accomplishments he has made. Um, so you know, it's time it's time to go out and get paid. So hopefully, he's uh he's in pinstripes again, and 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 I'll be waiting for him. Yeah, okay. He's definitely going to get paid, my friend. So it's going to be a cafecito <laughs> for everybody. Everyone's going to get a Cuban coffee maker. Nestor Cortez, congratulations on your appointment to Team USA. Great season so far. We look forward to what's ahead for you.